Our big story right now at 5 o'clock. Mogill City Council members are recommending a six-month moratorium on the construction of oil storage tanks. Well, today, the Rules Committee held a public hearing listening to concerns from both sides of the issue. And this moratorium proposal comes after companies expressed interest in building tank farms near downtown Mobile. Local 15's Andrea Ramey is live from the newsroom tonight. Andrea, the action today was just a recommendation, not a formal vote, right? That's right, Greg. So a final decision has not been made yet. Several council members say it's time to hit the pause button and look at the possible impacts of this kind of development. A train carrying crude oil derailed this summer in Quebec. The fireball that erupted in the center of town killed 47 people. Some fear this nightmare could very well happen here if more oil storage tanks are built and operated in town. I'm thinking about moving and I'm 84 years old. I just asked if we could have my mighty girl night during a parade. Two, you know, 200 rail cars to be on fire. John Anderson is a retired engineer and says he has personally seen what happens when tanks rupture and pipelines leak. He told council members today that the city should take a time out and discuss the ramifications of this industry. What are their safety plans? What kind of containment is going to be around these cars? What kind of fire protection is going to be there? What do we do in the Medicaid of catastrophe? But in the business world, the word moratorium is not welcome. And some argue it will have a negative impact and unintended consequences. A sweeping moratorium, it could send the wrong message and really send the message that we're closed for business. American Tank and Vessel CEO Bill Cutts said today his company wants to build petroleum storage tanks at the old international paper site. He argued his tanks would have increased safety measures and not be a nuisance to the public. You will have no smell at the tank site. In the end, the Rules Committee recommended the moratorium. Let's get the community engagement, let's have the necessary discussions, and let's figure out where we want to go as a city so that when projects do come, we can better be able to say whether it fits what we want to do or it does not. And the council is set to vote on this moratorium December 31st. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News.